Hey guys, welcome to week 12 of Inferno Shred or Max Shred, whichever you want to call it. Uh, it is the last and final week. It's challenge week. This week consists of two of your workouts with the heavy weights and circuits and two challenges. So first challenge, today's challenge, we've already seen this one a couple different times. I was not really a, a big fan of it. It's the burn it up challenge or burn it I think it's burn it down um, you saw it at the end of month one end of month two you were actually supposed to do it twice he just flip-flop the rep requirements and here we are again at the end of month three so like I said this kind of reminds me of the 400 challenge which I did last month challenge because of how many times you repeat it in this program you're supposed to kind of watch your your times and see improvement i have never i've never taken measurements or recorded my times i just do it to, and get the workout completed because i've already gone over the challenge a couple of times quick recap two pairs of exercises so pair one two exercises pair two two exercises depending on your alarm he has different point values for those exercises that you have to accumulate in any way you want. You can do as many rocket jumps as you want, many inverted rows as you want. There's just a point value attached to each exercise and you have to add it up to the total he expects in those rounds, which I said, there's, there's five rounds in each pair. So you're doing 10 total rounds. I have not been a fan of this challenge just because of how um, repetitive it is just two exercises constantly jumping back and forth between them. So I have added in a core move on my own. That's my own improvisation to the, to the challenge, just to change it up a little bit, knowing how I felt about the challenge in the past. I feel like it won't, it's still gonna be bad, <laughs> just not as bad as it has been in the past because month three, we didn't see a ton of push-ups. We didn't see any inverted rows. So it's not like I'm coming into this burnt out on push-ups and inverted rows or rocket jumps or the split squat jumps. It, we haven't seen those all month. So that's, I guess, a positive, positive note. But Uh, pair one is done. It was not too bad. Adding in that core move helped tremendously. And that last wavelength circuit round, whatever you want to call it, or wave, um, I subbed in corrective exercises to equal my total number of points I was supposed to get. It just, it, made, it just made it mentally easier for me to, to push through that, that fifth wave. So, Pair number two, again, adding in a core move just to make this far more mentally doable. Alright guys, so that is the Burn It Up Challenge completed for the last time this go-round with Max Shred. Uh, changing it up a bit made it just far more, just easier. Obviously it was easier. It was mentally easier not to keep pushing yourself through those same two exercises over and over again. The schedule works out this week that today's the Burn It Up Challenge. Tomorrow would be a workout, rest day, workout, rest day, and then the last and final challenge. Um, morning guys. Um, truth, honesty time. 
I have been wrestling. Yesterday I took a rest day. This morning just even like thinking about not wanting to do this exact workout. Um, in true Athlete X progressive nature, this was last week's workout that I found the most absolutely grueling. You have the, the added exercise to the circuit and now he's taken week tens format where you have less rounds but your cardio time has increased and I just I was really not wanting to but unfortunately the way that my schedule has worked out and either do it now mid-morning or do it butt crack of dawn tomorrow morning and it just seems like this is gonna be easier <laughs> so I, the only other thing I will say is I am definitely going to be subbing in the agility ladder for the cardio um, instead of the bench climbers. I just, no way am I going to do it for the duration that he asks you to do it for. So, of course, of course, when I looked ahead at the two workouts this week, it's the two workouts I found the most grueling. It is definitely not the workout I referred to last week as not being too taxing and I was able to up the cardio with the battle ropes. That one does not exist this week. <laughs> Which would just figure. That is far much more tolerable than bench climbers. I've mentioned this in month three with these heavy circuits the different alarms have different rep maxes so lower alarm you're gonna have less weight more reps higher alarms you're gonna do higher weights um, or heavier weight with less rep I have noticed as this month is going on I have been increasing my weights which uh, obviously means or hopefully means I'm building strength. Hey everybody, welcome to the last and final workout before the final challenge in a couple of days. So I decided let's do these bench climbers for the duration you're supposed to do them for just for experimental purposes. I'm only halfway done. Okay. The bench climbers add in an upper body element. But and they're taxing. The agility ladder 
is so much more preferred to me. Um, it just goes by so much faster. I kept looking at the clock, wondering when it was gonna be over. That concludes Mac Shred. You just saw the last and final challenge, which is called the Burnout Challenge. It is three moves, a push, a pull, and a leg move. You're doing 10 sets of 10 reps, and you use your, the weight you're supposed to use is 50% of your one rep max. I had a little issues with this because in the video, he says that there's a rep max cal calculator in the program. I could not find it anywhere. So I may have overlooked it, but I, I looked hard. So if somebody found it, let me know. They, what I did was I went back to my beast program and I knew there was calculators on the moves, the rep max calculators on the moves for each of those exercises. I just, I did not comb the entire program. I could not find the incline bench move to to use that calculator so my weights my weights were off i had to adjust my weights throughout throughout this challenge you're supposed to start with that weight and maintain that weight through your 10 sets i found in the incline bench and the barbell squats i upped my weight towards the end because i just was not feeling the burn i thought you were supposed to be feeling in the barbell rows i had to take my weight down because it was just way more than I was capable of to get through those 10 sets. And passing the challenge is based on how many of those 10 sets you complete. There is also a strict one minute rest period between, exer between your moves or in between those sets. In between exercises, you have a longer rest period. Um, I am, I was not as, as burnt out as I thought I would be by the end of this this workout maybe it you know there's no cardio in this challenge and I've been so used to the quicker paces of the circuits and the cardio on top of it that this was a different you know change of pace without that cardio element in it um, I also wanted to note he also says this challenge is based off of the first workout in max size. That would um, that would be a good follow up to this program. I have already told you I have decided to go with old school iron. The other thing I should probably note: I just snapped some photos. I didn't take any of my measurements. I would assume they're about where they've been for I don't know this entire program. If not, they've gone up a little bit, <laughs> but. Uh, I would have to say, truth be told, I guess I'm just, you can't, you can't outrun a bad diet. And my nutrition was just not on point during this program. So we are two months shy of hitting the one year mark on the, the whole COVID pandemic, quarantine, things being shut down. Beyond that, Halloween Thanksgiving and Christmas occurred while I was on this this program or doing this program. So I am not shredded. I didn't lose a bunch of inches or weight. Uh, but I will credit this program to mitigating the damage that probably could have been or would have been done without it during all of this. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know sugar. Sugar is my drug of choice and I've battled that. I've been battling it, but um, I will never stop battling it. I am again 16, 16 days free and clear of baked goods and sugary sweets. Final thoughts on uh, Max Shred. 
Well, let's start with the pros. First off, pros, it definitely has um, the flow I was looking for. The entire program is circuits, made up of circuits. Um, it has everything in it. You start out with body weight exercises and you, with a little bit of heavy weights, you slowly transition into more and more heavy weights. And by the end of the program, there's no body weight exercises in the circuits. It's all heavy weights. I, the progression was great. Um, the body weight exercises remain the same through month one and month two. That got to be, by month two, I was pushing to get through those circuits because of just how redundant it got. You've got your cardio element in every workout. Um, if you have a strong cardio background, this, this would be the program for you. And I'm comparing that more to AX1, um, where I found that cardio a little, little lacking. Uh, this one, Black Widow, will, she will test your limits. The only other, the cons that I saw with this program was, I've mentioned it throughout the program, he, Jeff is usually really good about incorporating corrective exercises for those, those little overlooked muscles, rotator cuffs, um, hips, uh, upper mid back. He's notorious for his face pulls. There were no corrective exercises built into this program. Any of them that you saw me doing during the duration of the program, I worked those in myself because of how important I think they are. The other thing is core work. There is little to no core work, um, which usually, you know, he always, once you buy a program, you have access to that six pack shuffle. I'm just horrible about doing it. So um, I prefer, I, I like programs where it's built in. Overall though, this is another, another great program. I, and I will, I am, 100% honest with you guys if I don't like it. I told you AX2 was, I I really did not enjoy it. I didn't even make it through it. Um, this one was a good one. This, I would I would suggest if you're, if you've never done an Athlean X program, this is a great starter program as well as a good uh, follow-up to AX1. It's like I said, again, his programs are always really good with progression. This one was really awesome with uh, progression. It's a little rough in the, be it, it's hard to judge in the beginning because it looks like you don't require a lot of equipment based on the fact that the majority of the first two months or the first month is body weight exercises with minute heavy weights. You'll start your, you know, you'll have a heavy weight exercise and then you'll do your circuits. Uh, but by the end of this program, month three, the whole, all the circuits are made up of heavy weights and you're going to need access to that equipment. So up next for me, um, he says, you know, the, the natural progression or the follow-up program to this program was max size. I have chosen to go the old school iron route. Um, for, for multiple reasons. I probably will take the next, probably a nice couple three days off and just focus on the spin bike, some stretching, recovering just a little bit. Eh, it won't last long because I want to bust into old school iron pretty bad. I uh, hope everybody's continuing to work hard and I will see you next week with the first week of old school iron.